Hello everybody and welcome to Luxury Benefit channel. My name is Sviatoslav and today we will talk about right and left hemispheres of our brain for good eyesight, creative thinking and writing goals with the left hand. Naturally, everyone wants to be happy, healthy, sighted, successful, etc. If you write all of these words then it will be a step forward it to become your natural essence. Greater success can be achieved by focusing on the main problem you have during the day. For example, if today I'm stressed, tomorrow I will start with the words. I'm in a good mood and happy. I react to everything normally and balanced. The more images and comparisons and metaphors, the better. And don't be afraid of repetitions. Not the first, but the third phrase maybe will go into those parts of our brain that are responsible for the fastest fulfillment of our main urgent task. But what you need to avoid is all kind of denials, doubts. You should write in the mood formulations without word note and better words I hope, I try, I will. The fact is that any doubts and opposition always slow down the movement towards the goal and leave a path to retreat. Creative thinking. I took another course with the title techniques of creative thinking. The main thought I made can be expressed in one sentence. The main thing that stands on the path of creative thinking and interferes with the development of person, this is his adherence to the position yes, but. For example, yes, it would be nice to take off glasses and improve eyesight. But I have such a difficult situation with the eyes. I'm already so many years old or I'm so busy. I often hear such phrases from failed people. So the eyes, like no other organ, need our confidence. Tomorrow I will get up absolutely healthy and with good eyesight. I can perfectly see all objects near and far. Let such task seem impossible to you at first. A positive attitude strengthens the immune system. It's taken from the Institute of Experimental Medicine. The great power of words and mindsets works. Writing goals with the left hand. If you at least imagine in your imagination and on paper to reflect the goal as if it has already been achieved, you can attract your beautiful future into the present. Even greater success can be achieved if done correctly. Prescription of the last paragraph of the exercise book Write the mindset text from memory with the left hand. Everyone knows very well that the brain is very closely connected with the hands. What is written down with your own, especially your left hand, is mandatory will be deposited in consciousness and subconsciousness, and there is no way to destroy it. The fact is that our hemispheres are connected with our hands in a cross. If you write with the right hand, then the information falls into the left hemisphere, responsible, as you know, for rational analytical thinking, for common sense and everything that it perceived at logical level. If we take the pen in our left hand, then all the recorded information goes to the right hemisphere, which is responsible for artistic imaginative thinking, for creativity, intuition and imagination. Here in these views stored in our memory and we need to scoop up resources to restore visual function. It's in the right hemisphere 
those layers of unused brain reserves that most of us use only 6 to 7 percent. Diligently writing down mindset's formula with our left hand. We focus on the process as much as possible and achieve win-to-win hitting the target by repeating our written directives night after night we reach obligatory fixing them on the conscious and subconscious level and this leads to the indispensable realization of the desired changes for us and our whole life the exercise book and especially the settings with the left hand must be written strictly before sleep and after that better to avoid be distracted by anything neither or tv or phone it is important that the recorded information was the last one that entered your brain for the day if such information is received every evening each morning nose writing and everyday mirror exercise then our brain simply cannot but accept it it's a guide to action what you need to write with your left hand everyone will determine for himself i have already explained the rules for writing now you just need to choose the right text for your subconscious for example i will see clear or I will recover my eye muscle. Let me remind you that the inclusion of the left hand in the work leads to a powerful awakening of human creative activity. Sometimes from people come out downright masterpieces and not only poetic ones. Someone begins to draw well someone writes scripts someone like me started a jokes channel and someone just studies better and passes exams easier this is not surprising since the equal use of both hemispheres make a person more developed harmonious successful in all areas it is worth a person to be convinced on their limitless possibilities, on the example of achieving one goal, how he sets himself to new ones. After all the mechanism has already been tested and mastered, and the tool for achieving the goal truly amazing. So my listeners, keep writing exercise book pump up left hand skills and after realizing that with the help of right hemisphere you can reach the most incredible heights an excellent book has been written on methods of working with the left hand which called the power of other hand is after lucia capacione in details tell how with the left hand which for some reason people made subdominant you can activate the capabilities of the right hemispheres of the brain i want to emphasize once again only one thing really long term and real results achieve mainly those who work with the exercise book in my opinion any exercises and eye care techniques can be mastered about how our inner emotional state and mood affects our health and therefore vision very well said during the covid 19 pandemic in the academician's calculation the panic epidemic has harmed people much more as fear weakens immunity and leads to depression an authoritative specialist in the field of epidemiology professor gundarov declares that history itself is capable of cause disease and in confirmation of these words academy of natural sciences gives a graph showing a sharp increase in infection diseases which covered in the early 90s of the 20th century according to the doctor of medical science himself this didn't happen because the number 
of viruses increased sharply and due to the weakening of immunity in people, lost of all previous values, fear, uncertainty about tomorrow have become the cause of outbreaks of infection diseases and now people come down, adapted to the situation and became more resistant to infections. Thanks for watching to the end, today we studied right and left hemispheres of our brain for good eyesight, creative thinking approach and writing goals with the left hand as an amazing tool to remember. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you again.